Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we're going to be looking at ordering numbers all the way up to 50. And I know that you're going to do a wonderful job. We're going to be using the numbers from our hundreds chart and we're going to be working to put some of them into order. For instance, here I have a U4, A7, and A1. I don't think that those are in order at all. Which number should come first? I think it should be R1. R1 should come in, in order first. And then what would come next? Would it be R4 or R7? You're right. It would be 4, then 7. 1, 4, and 7 would be in order from the least to the greatest or the smallest to the biggest. Now, they're not exactly in the correct order. When we count, we don't say 1, 4, 7. But 4 is greater than 1 and 7 is greater than 4. So you're going to have to be careful today as we are looking at which numbers are greater and which numbers are smaller. Let's take a look. Class, we often use our 100s chart when we're looking at numbers and it often helps us learn the order of them. Today we're going to be looking at them all the way from number 1 to 50 and we're going to be putting some of them in order. So we're going to take a closer look at some numbers. Let's start by looking at these numbers. I have the number 4, 10, 6, 2, and 8. Hmm, those look kind of familiar. Are those numbers even or odd? <laughs> You're right, those are even numbers. Which one is the smallest number? Yes, it's 2. We're going to start off and put our 2 here. Which number would come next in order? Would it be 4, 10, 6, or 8? You're correct. It would be the number 4. 2, 4, hmm, would 10 come next? 6 or 8? I think you're remembering our song. It would be 6. 2, 4, 6, Hmm, what comes after that? It would be 8, and that leaves us with 10. Let's sing our skip counting by 2 song. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. Do you want to sing some more? Yes! Class, here I have the numbers. 13 and 19. Which number would come between 13 and 19? Would it be 6, 16, or 26? Which one would come between 13 and 19? Hmm. You have to think of a number that is more than 13. Is 6 more than 13? No. It can't be 6. Now, 16 and 26 are both more than 13. So, they could both go after 13. Hmm. But we also have to find a number that comes before 19. It has to be less than 19. You're right. It is 16. When we're ordering numbers, 16 comes after 13, but before 19. Good job. Here I have the numbers 22 and 29. We have to figure out which number comes between those. Would it be 17, 7, or 27? We need to find a number that is greater than 22, but less than 29. Well, 7 is less than both of them. 
So I'm getting rid of 7. Would it be 17 or 27? 17 is less than 29. So we could say that 17 comes before 29. But does it come after 22? No. What about the number 27? 22 is less than 27. And 29 is greater than 27. These would be in the right order. Here I have the numbers 34 and 37. And we need to find a number that would go in between them. It would need to be greater than 34, but less than 37. Here are our options. I have 26, 36, and 46. Let's look at 26. 26, is it greater than 34? No, it's less than 34. What about 36? Is 36 greater than 34? It is. Is it less than 37? It is. 46 is greater than 37. Here I have 47 and 50. Now we're going to figure out which one, which one of these numbers would go in between. Would it be 29, 37, or 48? Hmm. Well, let's see. 29. Is it greater than 47? No. It's less than. It would have to go over there. What about 37? Is it greater than 47? No. It's 10 less than. It can go over here with our 29. What about 48? Is it greater than 47? It is. Is it less than 50? It is. 48 is our answer. How did you do? Did you figure out which numbers were greater and which numbers were less? Or which numbers were smaller and which numbers were bigger? Sometimes we have to order numbers. And using our hundreds chart is a wonderful way to do that. I would love for you to practice putting some numbers in order today. I hope that you have a wonderful day, class. Bye-bye.